certainly Muslims are peaceful. You will find a whole litany of examples of Muslims that are peaceful. No one's, no one's questioning that. Muslims today are peaceful, especially if they live in the West. They have to be peaceful. We force them to be peaceful. The laws of our land demand that they're peaceful. Of course, I wouldn't expect any different. Any more than any religion or any ideology would have representatives who are peaceful. That's not the point, and that's not what we're arguing for. I asked him again, could you show me some verses that support this peacefulness? Could you show me any verse in the Quran that tells you you're to be peaceful? So he went to Surah 2, Ayah 2 to 5, which is, says, for there is no compulsion in religion. There is no compulsion in religion means don't force people. You cannot force people to go against their will or to choose that which they don't decide for. That seems pretty peaceful, at least it seems to me. I said, the problem with that is when was that revealed? Do you know when that was revealed? And he didn't know, and I said, well, that was actually revealed according to your authority, according to your tafsir, according to your commentaries, that that was revealed the two-year period when Muhammad first moved to Medina in 622, and that two-year period between 622 and 624. So it's a very early Medinan reference. It's a very early Medinan uh, uh, verse. And I said, do you realize that there's 101 verses that come after that contradict it? And you know that the law of abrogation stipulates you always go with those that come after. So it basically, that's been eradicated. That's been abrogated. That's no longer an authoritative verse. So then he went to Surah 2, Ayah 190, which stipulates that if you are attacked, defend yourself, but don't go beyond the limits. Now I asked, well, then what are the limits you're not to go beyond? He says, well, he says, you're not, you just must be careful. I said, well, let's read the text. Let's read the very next verse. Let's go to Surah 2, Ayah 193, in fact, two verses later. There is the context and there is the application. And kill them wherever you find them. So what limit are you to go beyond once you've killed them? That's no longer a very peaceful verse.